This hammer man is built with 3D printed parts. Coordinated movement between hammer and nail is made possible with the help of cams and gears. Let us take it apart to know more about each part. This gear has 36 teeth while this one has 12. That means large gear will rotate only once when small gear has rotated 3 times. Large snail cam is responsible for dropping of the hammer. This special type of cam has 3 snail cam like drops. These are placed at an angle of 120 degrees from each other. If you consider the full circle to be 360 degrees. Collars are attached to these pins. These pins roll on the cam as it moves. Hexagonal shape of the axle makes sure that cam as well as gear are moving at the same time without any slippages. That way we did not fix it with the help of screws or glue. Cap at the end of an axle prevents it from moving sideways. Let us quickly place all the parts together. This follower is attached to the nail. This follower triggers the movement of the hand. Step of the nail follower comes immediately after that of the hand follower. Distance with which a drop happens every time reduces. This is to indicate that it takes more force to push the nail after initial hit. This is how it looks when viewed from the other side. Design for this automaton was done in a FreeCAD 0.2 using part design workbench. Here the Bezier curve came handy to reset the nail to the original position. Drop of the hammer designed as per the initial cam was not enough, so I had to design a larger one. Hammer man was designed in Blender. Instead of starting from scratch, Carmorph, another blender add-on, was used as a starting point. Using bisect tool for meshes, parts were separated for printing. This was my first automaton which involved some logic. Planning to work on similar projects in near future. I will share the details about the frame I used for this project in another video. I would like to credit this video from where I got the original idea. Thank you.